Uh, we've talked about him on the show. DC, you're familiar with Macho Man Randy Savage. Absolutely. Well, what if I told you <gasps> he has a brother who also has a weird voice, but a different kind of weird voice? <laughs> oh, do tell. He is a poet. He reads poems before his matches and throws them out on frisbees to the audience. As per custom, Leaping Lenny has a poem for all of us. I'm wrestling Mr. Wonderful, and he is looking great. He's handsome, tan, and muscular, but still can't get a date. And uh, on occasion, he likes to dress in a full suit of armor. Oh, yes. Oh, well, uh, you're going to love uh, Sir Lanny Poffo. Darren, can we play a clip? Gather around me, wrestling fans, and listen to my story. Through my love for great days past, I fight for fame and glory. Big fish have eaten little fish since history began. And underneath this armor is a very hungry man. I think we've, we've played this <laughs> clip on the show. Enough. This is the third time now. We love <laughs> Sir Lanny Poffo <laughs> yep. so much. Does this spark your interest? Could this maybe convert you into full-time wrestling fan, knowing that there's hours of Sir Lanny uh, Poffo content? I mean, you know, I, I, the word, again, the, the word poet, poetry gets thrown around a lot. You know, you have guys that were kind of going like, I'm macho, but I'm a poet, you know, Bukowski and and whatever. But really, this is like taking it to a whole. This is taking it to a whole uh, yeah. different level. I, I, I mean, no Lanny can't be macho. Existed. He he can't be macho. His brother's macho, so he right. decides to be valiant. <laughs> <laughs> Even from victory, what we are talking about is decadent filth. Rock and roll, in its essence, is taking young men and women and making them slaves to sins of the flesh and sins of pleasure. I stand for courage. Purity, honesty, humility, diligence, charity, and fidelity. Well, that gave you an idea about Popo Mania. Well, let me tell you, Rick and Robert. Don't tell us nothing! Okay. Don't tell us nothing! Let me tell you something! 6033 in the corner in Popo Mania, yeah. The sexiest team that nobody can do anything about. Don't talk to him no more! All right, that's good. We don't want to talk to you anymore anyhow. Turn me off! All right. We'll take time out, and we'll get back around here before we get in the middle of uh, Popomania. I mean, that's really... Mostly. They really... It's just... <laughs> Lanny and Randy didn't really do much on television together outside of their initial pre-WWF career when they invaded Memphis Wrestling as the invading wrestling brothers, the Poffo brothers. And it's so funny because Lanny, you know, Lanny's always like kind of a whenever Lanny was a heel, he literally like Space Ghost grew a goatee. <laughs> like he literally if he was going to be a bad guy, he had to look <laughs> the part uh, and he does. And then, you know, you have Lanny being so I mean, obviously so well spoken and then Macho Man just bashing himself in the head with a chair. It's like. Really, I wish they were together more. I, I do. I I have a surprise for you, Darren. What? The Wrestling Club with Darren and Brett. <laughs> We've got a show that you'll never forget. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius WWE. But it looks like Brett Davis remembers my night gimmick. Oh, I never thought I would live that down. <laughs> Look back through the annals of history and the Wrestling Hall of Fame, men from all nations with courage to spare, who struggled to carve out a name. Now compare these high standards of valor to those chivalrous knights of yore, with bravery staunch as their armor, their glory both legend and lore. My medieval connection with wrestling relives that magnificent past. I didn't ask him to Though this. mindless skeptics may snicker and scoff, the winner is he, he who lasts people. last. Alive with the love of wrestling, I appear on TNT between Vince and Awful Alfred, the hottest show on TV. I'm not your average wrestler, but I wouldn't want to be. I never scream or kiss my arms. I'm happy just being me. I call myself Leaping Lanny, 
I validate what I say to every single wrestling fan who's watching USA. Yes, I believe in miracles as God has blessed this great land. I believe the referee will soon be raising my hand. Brett Davis, I hope you enjoyed it. And Darren, thank you for being a fan of mine too. And my nut gimmick, well, that wasn't real armor, that was theatrical armor. What? It cost me $1,400. And then I did all these bunkhouse battle royals and uh, some of the other wrestlers were a little rough on the armor. So I wound up throwing it all away. Aww. And uh, anyway, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Oh, Lanny. 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 Oh my gosh. He, after his armor is destroyed in the bunkhouse battle royal, he starts wearing a graduation robe and he starts calling himself the genius. And there's a match mm. from Saturday night's main event in 1990 with Hulk Hogan versus the genius. And it is one of my favorite wrestling matches ever. It's so, especially as like from like a comedy perspective, it's unbelievable. It's great. So I recommend that the Hulk Hogan. So we have genius. one more clip. I don't know if we could play it. Uh, Remember I sent you that one specific Lanny clip and we can end the show on that kind of without comment. <laughs> I love arena rats, but there was this girl, they called her skinny Lynn and she <clears throat> wanted me. And I'll tell you what I was. This is his almost famous. An oversensitive <laughs> boy with a bad complexion. I wasn't really the Clark Gable of my high school. No, you and I love wrestling because a lot of loosely moral girls would go to the wrestling matches and Ugh. entertain a wrestler, even <laughs> the fat, bald, blind, crippled, crazy ones or the ones with tattoos on their face. Everybody got a girl in wrestling. So evidently they didn't mind my little complexion problem. Ugh. And I, this girl, Skinny Lynn, she was the loveliest girl I ever, I fell in love with her. I was young and stupid. She was hot. <laughs> I feel like they my Bukowski reference was more apt Pay than that I no realized. <laughs> she yeah. was beautiful. And somewhere during the sexual intercourse, Ugh. I was having some fun with so her. So much we worse than anything else you could time. <laughs> I did this little party trick I can do. I grabbed my penis and put it in my mouth. <laughs> and she flipped. Then when I got to the next town, <laughs> Everybody knew my dick size. Everybody knew my habitat and my, my habitat. My habits. And I remember one of the wrestlers brings me into the locker room and he says, Lanny, did you suck your own dick for skinny Lynn? And I said, yes. He says, let me see. So I grabbed it and showed him. And he said, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Maybe it was, but many years later, that wrestler who will remain nameless, unless you know that he got a couple years in jail after plea bargaining for some, <clears throat> something like, uh, something he did wrong that was against the law. There's nothing illegal about auto fellatio. All right. And, All right. Um, so we can stop that right, there. Turn that Thank right you, down. Steve. Okay. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, DC. So much for oh, gosh. being on the, uh, I'm, I'm flustered. There's uh, nothing illegal uh, about that. Auto whole thing was the worst hold steady song I've ever heard. <laughs> I got you the worst possible Christmas gift. Yeah, but you were like kidding, though. I don't know. Oh no! Does it have a swastika on it? it Is it from the Harris swastika? It's not from the Harris Brothers. I'm just gonna for the for the listening audience. If you hear dead air, it's dramatic. We're, we're doing a little open here. I'm gonna open it up. It's uh, got a couple uh, little spots in here. Let me get this open. And okay, we've got a. Uh, oh, I don't like it. Wait a second. All right. Looks like it's a. <laughs> it's uh, you can see here. It's a pair of uh, wrestling trunks, 
And if we uh, just turn it to the back, warn and sign <laughs> by leaving Lanny Poffo the genius. <laughs> it smells clean in the way like a re- like a like a high school gym smells clean. I mean, he's notably the cleanest wrestler. I don't know what you were expecting to smell. This is a long video that I recommend from Concrete, um, where they just get a tour of Lanny's house. Amazon. Play the Beach Boys. <laughs> songs by the Beach Boys. <laughs> I just accepted a booking in Germany, so I like to lay down and listen to YouTube German lessons. My theory is, why stand when you can sit, why sit when you can lay down? It's, it's my brainchild. Also, you'll find no toilet paper in my house. I don't use it. Uh, so, pause right there. Darren, you have such a way with words. Could you describe what the visual of Lanny laying on his bed looks like? Okay, so he's flat on the bed like my grandfather's corpse. <laughs> he's, he's laid flat and his face is kind of sunken in also like my grandfather's corpse and uh above his bed is a is a is a television screen and he's just flat on his back looking at it this is what he does with his life i guess i have a bidet it saves money and i'm cleaner than anybody i ever met do you wipe your dishes or do you wash them? This is my massage chair. You know, here, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, thank you. Watch this. It's coming. Now. Oh. oh. Now, Bob. Yes. Uh, I'll ask. I'll ask you to paint the paint the picture for those that aren't seeing the video. Uh, what what does <laughs> what does Lanny look like to you? In your most po in your most Lanny po- poetic fashion, he looks like he's at the dentist's office. Mm-hmm. About it's that to... angle, you don't see unless you're at the dentist. <laughs> yeah, because you are the dentist. I've auditioned for America's Got Talent twice already. Didn't make the show. <laughs> Not ashamed of it because I feel it's the best show on the air. I feel it is the best show and it gives the most opportunity to regular people to become extraordinary. I actually went, I drove to Jacksonville, Florida, waited in line like everybody else, and uh, I thought I did pretty good, but evidently not. And then I went to Orlando and I thought I did well. Evidently not. But here I am, third time's a charm, or even if it isn't, I'll come back again and again, and as long as I have a pulse, I will try. The winter is forbidden till December, and exits March the 2nd on the dot. By order, summer lingers through September. In Camelot. <laughs> so, yeah, he's at a uh, hotel karaoke. Seems That's like where he maybe is, an yep. empty room. Maybe not. He, he's in uh, full ki- like no, King Arthur. Wanna, no, no, he's no, 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 Sir no. Lanny I, Poffo here. Well, I want to say he is downgraded from a, 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 you know, an arm, an armored suit to uh, a tunic, <laughs> a red tunic with. Some like like it looks like he's wearing maybe a curtain underneath it. It's like uh, faux chainmail. Oh God! <laughs> you know, I really do admire his drive, though. You know, when when Sir Lanny Poffo sees something, he goes for it. it. Turned out Raggedy Ann and Pinocchio were having an affair. But they're having a little problem. Um, it's a sexual problem during coitus, um, during their sexual intercourse. Um, Pinocchio was leaving splinters in Raggedy Ann, 
in her, in her nether regions. Uh, was I faithful to my wife on the road? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, uh, I got as much pussy as I possibly could get because I certainly wasn't getting any at home. All right. So... With no thought to my own life, I saved this beautiful girl so you could live, love, and be merry. Thank you very much, Nanny. Merci beaucoup, mademoiselle. <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful woman that was, uh, that I'm so lucky. I am the same age as her grandfather. And uh, she was not lucky enough to put up with all my uh, in, insane um, rantings and uh, singing. Sharing the love I thought would last forever. Moonlight would show the way so we could follow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wonderful Thank girl. You. The Wrestling Club with Darren and Brett. We've got a show that you'll never forget. Forget, forget.